Welcome back, folks. So we've uh, reached a major milestone here in uh, the renovation project that we've got going on this old abandoned mobile home. And I uh, just want to do an update video here of kind of where, where we're at, you know, where we've been and how far we've come. We've been uh, working away at this for several months. And I just kind of want to bring it all together in this video uh, to show you where we're at right now, where we've come from, and uh, kind of where we're headed here in the next, next little bit. So it was about, uh, it's two years ago next month actually, um, that I first heard about this home. And uh, the owners of this park contacted me and uh, asked if I'd be interested in... Uh, taking this place over and doing a renovation on it. And the status of the home at that time was it uh, was abandoned. Uh, the previous uh, people that lived here had, uh, uh, one, had, one, had ended, one had ended up in a, uh, in a home and uh, another one had passed away. And so then the, uh, the family of those previous owners then uh, decided to, uh, you know, take it over and try and and do something with it and there was a mortgage on the home as well and so the uh, family came in and they started tearing things apart here and uh, after a couple of months kind of figured out you know what this was all going to take and you know that they were in over their head and they just uh, they just walked away from it so they abandoned it there was uh, you know a lot of uh, personal belongings in here from the previous owners uh, it was a kind of a hoarding situation going on in here. So, the, you know, there was a lot of stuff in here. And so the, the family walked away and the, uh, they quit paying the pad rent and they quit paying the mortgage. And as a result, um, a legal action started to uh, the park for the park to take ownership of it. And mixed in with that was the bank foreclosed on it. So... That's how it became a abandoned foreclosure. So when the park uh, approached me, they uh, were interested if uh, if I could do something with this place. You know, they had uh, talked about you know possibly taking it out of here. It was in you know really bad condition, and uh, they, you know they they weren't really sure exactly what they could do with it. But I talked to them, and you know I had a vision for the property and. They, they liked what they heard and so uh, we began the process for, you know, for uh, us to take possession of it. That took quite a long time. Uh, the park had to get things sorted out with the bank and the family and there was quite a bit of legal work and that took uh, a, a good year for that all to get resolved. And so then it was about a year ago uh, again, about a year ago this month, that uh, the park called me up and said, you know, we are, we're ready to go. Um, you know, we got our paperwork all done. It was late, late August, actually, when that happened. And uh, late, late, late August last year. And so they said, okay, so I said, okay, so let's, you know, let's get it done. And, you know, so there's a, there's a, there's a bit of a process uh, involved in, you know, taking ownership, there's the conveyance and all of that. And so we originally thought that we would take possession of this home, you know, in October last year. Well, uh, we went to do the conveyance and um, my lawyer that handles that stuff for us uh, said, no, you can't, you can't do it because the home doesn't have a proper electrical certification on it. Um, so we had to, you know, we had to have it certified. So in British Columbia, that is the responsibility of the people that own it, which in this case at that time was the, the park. Um, I had made a, a deal with the park for a price that um, was uh, low enough that I was going to take care of that work. But I, my plan was to do it after we took ownership, but the lawyers wouldn't let us. So that had to be done before we could take possession of it. So back in November, um, in December, I started working at, 
you know, getting the electrical certification done. Uh, there was a lot of work that I had to do. I had to do a lot of demolition inside. I had to take the uh, drywall out of the, there was an addition on the home and a shed at the back and I had to take and strip that all out and I get it down to the bare studs. And so, you know, I worked away at that and basically got that work all done just before Christmas. And then we had uh, ins inspector come in and with, uh, you know, the COVID pandemic and all that, there was the logistics of getting an inspector in at that time was, was complicated. It was not an easy thing to do. Uh, they just weren't doing uh, visits anymore to site visits because of the pandemic and the restrictions that, uh, you know, came from that. But we did get in uh, January, it was about the middle of January, we had, we got our inspection, we finally got our silver seal label. And uh, February the 1st, roughly, we took possession of it. We, we were then legally the legal owners of it. But, you know, it was, uh, yeah, it was like from August of, uh, what would that be, 2019 uh, until, you know, February of 2021 This how, how long this all took to, for us to get possession of that. Uh, so then we uh, sort of sat on things a little bit, you know, for a couple months there and uh, started working at uh, demolition work and there was a lot of demolition. We wanted to basically take this home back to the original single wide uh, unit. The addition uh, we had discovered, you know, in uh, taking apart was uh, you know, rotten. There was a lot of mold. We couldn't save the addition. The same was the situation with the back, uh, with the shed. Um, I'm going to put some pictures at the end of the video here that will show you you know, kind of what we started with here and like the day we walked into it and uh, you know, kind of the process of the demolition to get to where we are now. Uh, there was also, you know, an old deck and carport on that we wanted to remove. So, uh, yeah, there was a lot of demolition here, more than I would normally do, more than I would normally want to do. But um, in this in this situation, you know, the, the price of the home was was attractive enough that uh, you know it gave us gave us room to do that work and still make it economically feasible uh, so uh, at this point now we're we're at a turning point where you know we're we're uh, done our demolition and we're ready to start some new work and so now going forward you know we're going to be looking at some new work and uh, looking forward to that and showing you uh, you know what we're going to do with this home um, a lot of people will say, you know, like, yeah, it was a lot of work to do all that demolition, you know, why, why bother? So, well, why bother was, again, because of the price. And so at this point right now, uh, today, which is uh, in the middle of July, you know, uh, our costs on this, including, you know, the, the price of uh, the home itself, the electrical certification, uh, you know, all the tipping fees, you uh, bin rental for the uh, disposal, um, you know, our, our costs, pad rent, all of that up to date right now, is we're, we're right around $10,000. So, you know, we're sitting here with a home now that we've got $10,000 in and we're ready to move ahead and, uh, you know, start our new work. So um, that price, you know, is all relative to the area that you're in. And for us to be sitting at this point now with this home with $10,000 into it, I mean, we're sitting in a really, it's a really great position to be in. Um, I've done several of these projects and what my most expensive project was, uh, I was at $90,000 before I even started on that one. You know, we renovated that home and still made money on it, you know, good money on it. So, I mean, sitting here at $10,000 in on this one, it's, it's really good. So, um, I'm going to give you a little tour here now just to show you where we're at and uh, yeah so let's have a look in the process of uh, you know tearing apart we uh, have managed to save a bunch of material out of the uh, that old edition in the deck so what I have here is a pile of two by six and some one by fours and that material is all going to get uh, 
reused in the roof of the new deck. So the new deck that we're going to be building is going to be covered and so there'll be a new roof. Uh, these 2x8s here I salvaged from the floor of the addition. This is all 2x8 fur and this is going to be used for beams in the roof. Uh, that pile of OSB is new. Um, I managed to get that at uh, $40 a sheet when uh, the price of it now is around $70 a sheet, something like that. You know, we've uh, gutted the whole inside of this home. Uh, it's pretty much just down to the shell. So we're, you know, we're ready to start going at it uh, at a later date. We're going to do the outside first, you know, during the summer here. And then, uh, you know, once we get into winter, then we'll start working on the, uh, on the inside. So again, you know, we got our electrical certification done. So our electrical is all proper now. And just show you this back here. We got a uh, got our bathrooms cleaned up. We got a toilet working here now, so we've got running water again. Water. All of the all of the uh, services were shut off in here uh, when we took it over. There was no services on here, in here at all. Yeah, we've got windows ordered and so uh, this is another thing with windows which this home will be getting all new windows um, quite a while ago I went to the window company that I use and you know talked about ordering some windows and they weren't even taking uh, orders at that point in time uh, they the uh, their their plant is uh, was shut down they have a, their factory employs 800 people and uh, it was shut down because they couldn't get glass. Um, the uh, glass manufacturers were not able to get the sand, if you can imagine, to make glass. And so a couple weeks ago, they uh, called me up and uh, said, Kent, we're ready to go ahead now. If we, you know, if you want to go ahead still, we'll take your order and get you in the queue. And I said, yeah, okay, let's, let's do it. And... Uh, so that was roughly around the 1st of July and uh, it's going to be uh, in the September, middle of October before I see, before I see any windows. So uh, in the meantime, you know, I'll be working on the decks, um, skirting, I've got some plumbing to do underneath. Uh, plumbing fixtures, I know someone who uh, started a bathroom renovation back in uh, June and uh, got the bathroom all tore apart and uh, went to order a shower and uh, they said yeah we'll have your shower in November so you know we're still still feeling the effects of uh, you know the pandemic and the, the shortages and uh, how that affects the projects all right so Next up here is going to be, uh, we've got a bobcat coming in here uh, next week and uh, skid steer loader and he's going to work on uh, cleaning up the site and so we, uh, you know, we're ready for that now. We've taken uh, that carport and, and deck that was on here off and uh, we just have a temp temporary set of stairs here. That, that's just the stairs that I took off of the old deck just so we can get in and out uh, there'll be a new set of stairs going there once the new deck is built but there'll be a new deck here and it'll be it'll be covered um, all of this concrete's going to go out so this guy when he comes with his uh, bobcat this is all coming out all of this is coming out uh, I've got my blocks here ready the next kind of the next thing that I'm going to be doing is uh, is leveling so I've pretty much got this cleaned up underneath here. Let me just give you a little look around in here. But uh, the home is about two and three quarters of an inch out of out of level. And so, um, you know, before we start any new work, we're going to want to get it leveled. So um, there'll be a video on on how I do that. This is the old pit here where that hidden room was. If you missed that, uh, go back into our video library there and you'll see the, the video on that little hidden room that was here underneath the deck. Um, 
the process of uh, taking up things apart you know that addition was in really sad condition but uh, this is the really the only area here that we have damage uh, is right here this header joist here and uh, you can see that it's rotten and uh, I will be repairing that so I'll be showing you how that's going to get fixed and I've salvaged um, all of these uh, all of this uh, concrete stuff these pavers and things these blocks these are all going to get uh, reused in the new landscape so you know these pavers here are going to get used uh, up at the front there around the new the new entrance way and that will get landscaped up in there and so these are going to get repurposed and then all of this is the, uh, the block from the retaining wall that i tore apart on the other side there and so i've got these stacked and uh, we'll be using some of these uh, you know back into the new landscape So it's just been, you know, clean up, clean up, clean up here. It's a lot of work. You know, this is the old step into the building that was back here. And uh, so this is all going to go. Um, that's this slope, that's, that retaining wall, that's all going to disappear there. And it's just going to get blended in. That's going to happen when the guy comes with the bobcat. All of the grade has to be adjusted here, so that's all going to get done. I was tearing timbers out of here, and there was a, a wasp nest in here, and they came. I started tearing away at this, and man, they came barreling out of there, and, and they got me. I got two bites. And then, of course, you know, the old addition is gone. So the home itself, you know, just as we expected, you know, when uh, I first came and looked at this place to buy it, you know, I I could tell that the original structure was solid and had what we call in the business good bones. And, uh, you know, except for that one little rotten area on the other side, it's, uh, you know, it's just pretty much exactly what I expected. Uh, the addition, it was, again, as I expected, I figured it was going to be rotten and it was, it was bad. So I've cleaned up, uh, underneath here I've cleaned up a bunch of uh, gas lines and stuff that were, you know, they had gas lines going to the back and, and uh, so just tidying things up. I got some plumbing to do underneath there. There's a leak in that uh, black drain pipe, the big black one there. And they've also done some crazy stuff about with the way they've tied in some drains and uh i'll show you that in another video how i'm going to clean that all up but that's going to get done now while the skirting is open much easier to do it now than when we get it all skirted up and so we've got uh, the new back door in ready for uh you know when we uh build a new a new step here we're going to build a new step and landing here and uh yeah here's the blocks i've not sure exactly how this is going to work out but uh I'm kind of thinking of something like this you know by the time the the foot of the bank you know comes down against the blocks it might be too high it might be three high you know i've got enough material here to go 40 feet so you know, it'll easily go from here you know from here to the round to the back so you know once the guy gets here we'll we'll kind of see how that works but but yeah I, i'm thinking you know sort of a small retaining wall like that along this side because uh you know as this is it's getting it's getting tight here it's not giving us much room to put a a little porch here so this is all going to get cleaned up here and adjusted as well But this was basically, this is, uh, you know, when you look at that mess that was here originally, uh, this is the, uh, whatever you want to call it, the diamond in the rough, the, the pearl in the oyster that we were looking for, you know, to get to this point where we have 
just this original unit left and you know all the other crap gone and uh, and uh, you know at, at this point we're ready to start start new again all right folks thanks for watching and stay tuned we're going to start getting into some interesting stuff now with the new work um, if you haven't subscribed if you hit that subscribe button that really helps out the channel uh, it doesn't cost you anything and it, it really helps us get exposure on youtube to, for youtube to uh, suggest the videos um, you know to uh, other viewers and uh, helps you know get us into the youtube traffic logarithms or whatever you call it uh, if you like the video give us a thumbs up uh, share the video that's all also all very helpful and uh, we'll see you on the next one bye bye